was into an oncoming car killing a man. Family members say the man had just dropped his father off at work and was on his way home when tragedy struck. This happened this morning on the Pierce Elevated right downtown. Brandy Smith is live along I-45. And Brandy, it simply sounds like a freak accident. And Len, that's how HPD describes it. They say road debris causes about 200,000 crashes nationwide every year, and only about 500 of those incidents end with someone dead. In this instance, the father of today's victim, Abdias Leva, says everyone dies at their time. A good kid and a hard worker is how Zeferino Salgado describes his oldest son, Abdias Leva. Delgado says Leva helped pay the rent, helped with everything. He also worked, but Leva never made it to work Tuesday, and this video from Air 11 shows why. Houston police say a tire fell off a southbound truck and bounced right into Leva's SUV. I never saw it coming. From Air 11, you can't really get a good sense of how big these tires are, but imagine something this size barreling toward your windshield at freeway speed. And when anything is picked up and it actually comes into that windshield area, it's like a projectile and it's very much like a large bullet. Not just a bullet, but a knife. Look at how it's sliced straight through the SUV's windshield and roof. Salgado says he kept getting calls at work because Leva hadn't returned home. Then he found out about the accident and that his son had died. But rather than look for someone to blame, Salgado says he accepts that this was an accident in the purest sense. Everybody has their time and their hour, he says. Nobody knows what's going to happen to them. It's one's destiny. Everyone has their time. Now, as for the other driver involved in this crash, the driver of that Ford F-150, please say he kept going for about 500 yards before he realized what had happened. He then stopped and cooperated with officers who say at this point they don't have any plans to file charges against him. Live along I-45, Brandy Smith, back to you. Now, real quick here, Brandy, do they know what caused that tire to break off? Yeah, Mia, HPD says it looked like the metal had just weakened to the point that the wheel snapped, and it's not something that the driver of that truck could have seen coming. So scary. It could have been any of us. Thanks so much, Brandy. And you may remember back in March, another bizarre accident on the roads, 